her each Sunday and throughout our lives, God is an artist. Just look around. God created everything from the heavens and the earth. He created every little atom. He created every person, every tree, every country. He created the entire world, and it's beautiful. There are many similes and metaphors that refer to art in the Bible, beginning with creation and all, all throughout the Bible. So I propose that we use art in the church to really reinforce the messages that are preached each week. Art may have been rejected in the past. Throughout history, art has been accepted and encouraged and even for example, in the Protestants, it was rejected and destroyed. Art has been claimed to be too open to interpretation. But in today's society, art is widely accepted and encouraged. I think that art should be incorporated into the church in the lobby and in the sanctuary and really anywhere that each person in the congregation feels as if it can meet a need. I think we should use art to reinforce the sermons each Sunday. Art can really trigger the memory of every person. So what does all this talk about art have to do with us? I think that art should be used in our church. Art can be used to reinforce the sermons each Sunday. Think about it. When someone's talking at you, you take in what they're saying and you do your best to incorporate into your life. But if you have pictures to remind you of what the sermon was about or what you should really work on for that week, and not only that week, but the rest of your life, you'll really remember it. So I suggest that we find a portion of our budget to put toward art. This art can be incorporated into our lobby and into our sanctuary. It can, we can use modern art, props, sculptures, or anything that follows the sermon series. This can really reinforce the different messages that are presented each week at our church. Everyone learns differently. Some people may really retain all the information that they audibly hear, but other people can really be encouraged to remember the sermons each week by art. One example of art in the church that was very reinforcing and very powerful to me was I went to an Easter service at my church back home and they had a cross on one side and on the other side they had a rock and this symbolized the tomb. And after going to that service, Easter is a very powerful holiday to begin with, but after having that reinforcement of the rock and the cross, I really did remember the message and what they talked about and it was very convicting and powerful to me. We are a very visual culture. Americans see pictures and billboards all over. I really want this art can be incorporated into our lobby and into our sanctuary. It can, we can use modern art, props, sculptures, or anything that follows the sermon series. This can really reinforce the different messages that are presented each week at our church. Everyone learns differently. Some people may really retain all the information that they audibly hear but other people can really be encouraged to remember the sermons each week by art. One example of art in the church that was very reinforcing and very powerful to me was I went to an Easter service at my church back home and they had a cross on one side and on the other side they had a rock and this symbolized the tomb. And after going to that service, Easter is a very powerful holiday to begin with, but after having that reinforcement of the rock and the cross, I really did remember the message and what they talked about, and it was very convicting and powerful to me. We are a very visual culture. Americans see pictures and billboards all over. I really want to incorporate that visual culture into our church and really have some art, visual art that will impact us as a church to really go out into the community and make a difference for Christ. This could be a topic of conversation for the people of the church to mingle over after service. People could regard the art and appreciate it and talk more about what it means to them. This would really help influence our church as a whole for the better. God and artists use their art to speak to us and to form relationships with us. Christian music inspires, Christian literature inspires, why not Christian art? Art offers an open-ended way to engage the gospel. And art transforms people's views of how they see a message. Okay. Christian religion, churches, and prayer are not just useful, they're better than that. They put us in touch with the Creator. Worship is obedience in the form of a gift. We often treat art like we treat worship. Art brings us in touch with pain, beauty, and brokenness. God created man from dust and made the garden. God placed beautiful precious minerals below ground waiting to be discovered with exploration. After eating from the tree of good and evil, culture happens as Adam and Eve sew together clothes. 
culture becomes a defensive measure to protect from being known to others and God, no longer good activity of tending a good world. Jesus took bread and wine instead of wheat and grapes, the culture, and takes it, breaks it, blesses it, and gives it to his disciples. Art explains the aspects of culture that are not necessarily deemed useful but are not useless. Art is stubborn. Not only is art valuable because it can share the gospel and point people to Jesus, but art is also valuable because its beauty can help point us to God's truth and paint a better picture of who our God really is. I think that arts in the church is a very important and moving factor we could include to our budget and it would help encourage our church as a whole.